Hello, my peeps. Happy New Year to you all. I know, I've been gone for a while, but I appreciate all of y'all who continue to stick around. Thank you so much for your patience. And to those who are new to the channel, welcome! I needed this break. For the past week and a half or so, I have spent the holidays with my close friends and family, and it felt so good to unwind. I could have taken that time to make more content and upload, which was something I was considering, but honestly, I really needed the time for myself and to spend it with those in my inner circles. In addition to that, for the first time ever, I officially hatched my first ever shiny! A Charmander on Pokemon Shield! Ah, it was such a great accomplishment, as well as completing the Pokedex for Galar to get myself that shiny charm to help the odds. I hatched over like 930 eggs for him, and after 300 of those eggs, I decided to switch gears to use the Masada method. Thankfully, I had a Duraludon from a different country to help out. Oh, oh, all those times I spent wonder trading years ago have paid off. I just personally really wanted a shiny Charizard, as Mizu, my avatar in-game, also mirrors Mizu from the comics Perseverance, and she does indeed have a shiny Charizard on her team. Granted, what I am showing you now is a different comic involving her. I have yet to disclose. So anyway, that was something I gladly was able to grind for with no shame and having me a lot of time to do it. For Christmas, I was gifted the DLC Isle of Armor and Crown Tundra. So that's basically all I've been doing, gaming. It's so fascinating to think about during this exact time, a year ago, my bestie had introduced me to Genshin Impact, and I clearly remember spending my winter break playing that game with her. And it was a lot of fun, as was shiny hunting and shield. Still, I would like to trade someone a ditto from another region, preferably with five out of six maxed out IV and I would gladly give a perfect IV male Charmander in turn as I certainly did hatch a few of those during my hunt. I also do have the Pokerus on shield and was given that through Wonder Trade, so maybe to sweeten the deal, I'll give the Charmander the rare EV boosting bug for anyone who would give me a foreign ditto I desire. Anyway, let's move on to the new year, or rather the resolution in relation to this channel. Goals that I hope to achieve by the end of 2022, as well as a great time to just reflect the past year of 2021 as well. In an old video of mine called My Struggles to Be a Content Creator slash YouTuber, which I uploaded on April 19th of last year, I remember saying by the end of 2021, I wanted to achieve two goals. One I could control and another I could not. One was being able to upload at least once a week, and the other was to double my subscriber count, which at the time was 35, so to 70. Granted, being only a third of the 2021 year in, I still consider that video a small staple as what my goals were, specifically for this channel. Since then till now, have I achieved those two goals? Well, not perfectly, but as Struthless, a great YouTuber I follow, has said about perfectionism is to follow the 70% rule. If you don't know what that is, I'll leave a link in the top comment and description to his channel and said video. Anyway, it's basically asking yourself, can I do this perfectly? Which usually is a no. So then you ask yourself, well, can I do this about 70% perfectly? Which is usually a yes. It basically helps lower the bar for entry, as I've heard him say. So in 2020, after my birthday special, I abruptly went on hiatus without a word, and that carried all the way through the holidays. Then mid-January rolled around. I made a small update video, released my first episode to Fire Red Nonlog, then just went off the grid again. The fact that in 2021, after my birthday, I actually got to release five videos is certainly way better than what I did in 2020, which was, well, nothing. Just a gap in time of my uploads. When I look at the timestamps on my videos in 2021, there certainly was a few weeks I missed after releasing 
my struggles to be a content creator slash YouTuber video, but honestly not a whole lot. About three fourths of the remaining eight months, I uploaded consistently, which I am just so proud of myself for. As of this date, writing this script for, I have about 62 subscribers and that's only eight shy of 70. So did I reach my 2021 goals 70% perfectly? You bet your biscuity butt I did, which is such an amazing feeling. I am so proud of myself. And again, thank you everyone who's come to support me along the way. You guys are the best. Now then, what are some goals for this year? For 2022? Well, one, I would like to keep my upload schedule of once a week if I can. It would be nice to see a full year where I uploaded at least once in all 12 months. There are no 2021 February and March videos. So let's look forward to making some 2022 ones. I'll admit, I wish I could increase the frequency of my uploads. However, currently that's just not feasible at this time. I know, I know. Y'all are just craving for some more Akemi shenanigan filled content, which I will try to deliver. Another goal I have in mind is to collab more, whether it be with close friends or reaching out to other YouTubers. I would enjoy setting up a game we could all play or something to that degree where we just all have fun. Currently, I am thinking about making some type of like Scribio Pokemon battle and I feel like that'd be fun just cause I'm a Pokemon fanatic. I don't care. It was my childhood and it's still carrying on. And I am thinking about maybe some type of co-op Genshin down the road, but I haven't ironed out all the details yet. But yes, collabs. Even if I do just one this year, consider my goal met. So there we have it. Keep on with a consistent upload schedule and collab with others. I personally don't like making New Year's resolutions big or grandiose. Grandiose? Grandiose? I think it's grandiose, but you know, I just gotta butcher the English language, it's fine. Anyway, I feel the simpler it is, the better something that's manageable and after saying it i can then break up the said goals into feasible steps i am able to take along the way so please tell me in the comments below what are some of your new year's goals and resolutions i would love to read and interact with y'all when i think about resolutions or goals i also think about some dreams i have for this channel things that may very well be years down the road or possibly closer than i'd ever guess one of them being VidCon. It would be a dream to be invited to VidCon. Hopefully when this pandemic is much more effectively under control as currently I still feel uncomfortable traveling, but if not being invited, I would just certainly enjoy being able to go. I personally have never gone to a convention out of state before in my life, but oh boy, am I ready to do so. And another thing, and now this isn't necessarily a dream, but something I'm looking forward to in the future is hiring on an editor. I love making my videos, but editing is what takes up most of my time. And the reason why it takes up most of my time is because I want you know, it to be edited well and have a good quality video to produce for you guys that's fun and engaging. And hence I put a lot of, sink a lot of time into my editing. However, I know there are people out there who can edit way more efficient and effectively than I. So by hiring on an editor, I'd be able to batch content a lot more and very possibly in due time increase the frequency of my uploads. Even though, yeah, I'm not monetized yet and I don't feel it's something I can budget for at the moment. However, it is something I'm looking forward to. Until that time, I just need to keep on keeping on. Mm. Just gotta keep looking towards the future. So, yes, tell me your New Year's resolutions. Please, please, please check out Struthless, um, whether it be in the description of my of this video or the top comment. He is somebody that I follow. He gives a lot of good videos about, I feel like a lot of good videos, just life lessons and tips and um, mental clarity is something that I really look at him for and Oh, he is just an amazing, he's an amazing YouTuber, guys. You should check him out. But anyway, uh, enough of me gushing. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Give it a like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already to see more of this girl's content. So remember everybody, be awesome, be you. Akemi, out.